In our days of budget airfares and ubiquitous highways, the reality of the great ocean liners is far removed from the actual experience of many travelers. The Houston Museum of Natural Science is currently hosting Titanic, the artifact exhibit, which allows visitors to roam the hallways of the greatest ship of its day. Director of Youth Education Sales, Amanda Norris, greets us at the gangplank for an orientation. There's about eight different rooms here. It'll take you from the conception of Titanic through what it would have been like to have been a passenger, not only in first class, but in steerage as well, and the life of maybe a crewman in the boiler room. As you follow through the exhibit, you'll get to the night of the sinking, April 14th, up through the morning of April 15th, when the boat is actually um, under the ocean surface at 2.20 a.m. And at the end, you'll be able to find out if your passenger, the boarding pass you were given when you entered the exhibit, um, survived that tragic night. Some of the key items that people will see in the exhibit um, are a set of whistles that were on one of the four funnels of the ship Titanic. Um, it's an actual set that's on display they can uh, take a look at and get pretty up close with. Um, they're going to be able to see some items from the first class passengers including really amazing personal effects, jewelry, pocket watches, things of that nature. Um, you're also going to be able to see a kind of a small iceberg that you'll be able to touch and see how long that you can stand holding that cold, remembering that that night of the sinking the water was 28 degrees. So it'll give you a really good idea of, of what these people suffered, those that ended up in the water. Um, some other really amazing artifacts, we've got some perfume vials where you can still smell the perfume and here we are 100 years later and it still has that odor to it which is um, really unique and some other personal effects as you go through. I think people are still fascinated with Titanic coming up even on the 100th anniversary of the sinking because it was the first real global event that happened. In 1900s, everybody was happy, business was booming, technology was amazing by leaps and bounds, and then all of a sudden, all of these people suffered the same fate, no matter if they were first, second, or third class, and it became a global event because they were bringing 900 immigrants from Europe. Um, so it wasn't just a story about the United States, it wasn't just a story about Great Britain, but it was a story about everybody around the world, and newspapers covered it as a global event, so it was the first time we really see that coming. The artifacts are not only beautiful, they also provide a gateway into learning about diverse fields of study in the sciences. Not only with the looking at the ice and how cold it was at the time, the science of creating a ship that is as large as that is, the type of steel that's going to go into that, um, what the microbes do to these objects underwater. Remember they're two and a half miles down, they're suffering 6,000 pounds worth of pressure per square inch. So what that does to an object. In, back in 2000, RMS Titanic Inc. went down uh, to the wreck site in one of their subs and they had this idea to kind of show what that 6,000 pounds per square inch pressure would, might do to a modern object. They took down a 12 ounce styrofoam cup and when they brought it back up at the end of their dive, that cup shrunk to something like this. Um, since then, I think they've been taking several more because this one is actually stamped with 2004 from the dive that night. So the, the neat thing about these cups is not only have they been down to the, to the wreck site, but it's a great, again, talking about science and what it's going to do to these type of objects. This is a modern object and it has suffered quite a bit just going down and coming straight up. So when people ask why can't they bring everything up from the Titanic wreck site, then you start having to explain um, you just have to be so careful with what's down there. For more information about the exhibition and associated special events, visit the museum's website at www.hmns.org. For day trips, I'm Stacy Hawkins.